Uh, okay, we have we do have a couple more minutes left. I wanted to catch up with two more things. Uh, so, Chris DeJoseph is no longer with WWE. Yeah, it was a disciplinary thing. Um, I don't know all the details, but I do know it was a disciplinary thing. Um, he had just gotten a promotion very recently. He was like Ed Koski was the head writer of SmackDown, but he was also I think that his. Um, his actual position was called lead writer. I think they were both called lead writer, so I guess maybe you could say they were co-lead writers. Um, and then something happened with Vince, and, you know, I don't know exactly what it was, but, um, yeah, he was let go. He was fired just um, Friday. Friday. I mean, I don't... Everyone got the word on Friday afternoon. Like, when I had in the update, I would say that it probably had gotten out maybe an hour or two early, you know, hour and a half earlier, I would say, than, than when, when, well, two hours before, because it, it took a while to get caught up on the, on the site. So, yeah, he, it, was, it was about two hours earlier than that is when it, when it happened, or when the decision was made, or when people were informed of the decision, whatever it is. So, yeah, um, he's not going to AEW, I don't think. Do you remember when, when he, how he got the job? <laughs> you, you know the story how he got the job, right? How he got the job, job WWE? Yeah, I just, like, I, All he did was rip on the AEW. Yeah, yeah uh, well, I, that's, what, that's what I thought you were talking about. But yeah, I just remember his tweets. I thought, when I saw that, and then they hired him, it's like it was like, oh my God, is it that easy? Are, are, can you play guys so easy that, you know, play, you know what I mean? But it's like, it's, that, that's when it really told me about how they, like, they um, you know, they really want that enforcement that AEW sucks. You know what I mean? They want that, that that's what they want is people who will come and say AEW sucks. Uh, all right. What is the story with the uh, buckle bomb being banned? Um, it was remember remember the show a couple of weeks ago where Nia Jax wrestled um, Kyrie Sane and she threw her in there and we were all worried. Oh yeah, that was she, that, that. It was it looked really reckless when it happened. Right. Well, I think she was going the middle one and I think she had the bottom one, but whatever. It didn't look good. That was the one that you know. Yeah, that that was the one um, that that caused it. Uh, that yeah, um, but you know, it's one of those things. It's you know because of what happened to Sting, I was almost surprised it didn't happen then. And there were people who were wanting it banned before that. You know, so it was it was one of those things where there were people against it, and then when that thing happened, it was kind of like that was the straw that broke the camel's back and Vince banned it. Uh, do you know if? I haven't seen an apron bump in WWE lately. I saw one on AEW, but do you know if, mm, if I that's think, been on? I, I think um, I think that uh, I think I've still seen apron bumps. Okay, so I, I, I didn't know if that one was silently removed as well. Mm, I haven't heard anything on that. No. Uh, okay, and then you are off the hook, possibly, with having to write a Vince book. Yeah, well, real quick. Um, I want to make mention that um, that WWE um, cut the pay of I, I don't know I, I believe all the producers, um, but if not most, and I was told the referees I don't know if it's all, but but most um, I don't know how much, but people who I know I know the number was twenty percent. Mm. And this follows like all the see now all the top executives took a pay cut at the time when they were um, you know they cut all those those jobs whatever was uh, April mid, mid April and but the thing with the with like Vince and the top executives yeah you you get a pay cut but most of their money is really in the stock so it's like the pay cut was there to boost the stock and it was publicly made and all that so. In a sense, you actually come out better. Um, maybe not everyone, but certainly Vince. Vince does, of course, because Vince, it's like it's just, you know ceremonial. Like you know, his salary, you know, whatever is one point four million a year. That's to, to Vince. That's that's not you know twenty percent cut of that is nothing because he's making you know whatever it is on his his um, stock dividends. You know whatever what you know eighteen million a year, whatever the number is. Um, and um, maybe I think it's maybe he sold a lot of stocks, so maybe it's down to 14 million. But the point is, is you know, and that's not changing. 
and to a lot of the people who have lots of stock, that's not that's not changing. So it's kind of but but everyone took a pay cut, and now it's you know gone to the next level where it's the producer. Because the thing is, the talent is under contract. If the talent is asked to take a pay cut, they become free agents, and then they can go to AEW. And so the talent is going to be the last ones. I mean, perhaps the undercard talent, you know, like they may offer the people who um, they don't think will go uh, or they don't think it will be interest or they don't care if they go. I could see, per, but, you know, but then you're breaching contracts. I don't see them breaching contracts with talent. That will be the last one that they do. But, yeah, it's another one. So, um, you know, they got to keep those profits up. I mean, you know, they're going to be profitable as all hell even without this. It's just... It's just what it is. Yeah, so you're off the hook with the Vince book? Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that one. I um, I had found out, um, actually, I think it was yesterday, um, that Abraham Reisman is uh, writing a Vince book, and it's Simon Schuster, who are the people who were talking to me for um, of late. Um, and, you know, I mean, I... I didn't accept. I didn't get back to him. We talked. They really tried to push me. You know, they, you know, it was a real good hard sell. But at the end of the day, I, um, I didn't want to do it. Um, but when I saw that, I was like, I, you know, maybe, I don't know. I, you know, at the end of the day, I really didn't make a mistake for me. Um, as far as the book goes, um, I cannot imagine that 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 um, I don't know for the book maybe I made a mistake we'll put it that way but um, for me no I I don't have any I have no wants to write a book the only thing I would do I would do a movie um, you know that one I would do because I told myself uh, Britain books never done a movie I would do a movie but I will not do I mean. You know, as long as I do The Observer, I'm not going to do a book. If I quit The Observer and it's eight years from now and I still want, you know, then will I write a book? Maybe, maybe yes. You know, but, but you know, not, not for the next eight years um, and, not as, and, and not as long as I'm doing The Observer because there's, no, there's just no time. That's just the reality of it. Um, and, you know, if the book is great, good. And if the book isn't great, then, you know, I can always write. I can always write a history of WWE, you know, when I want to. Anyway, although probably not with Simon and Schuster, which is the best, the best company. I mean, that's that's the one thing. 